Hello everybody and welcome to my new player's guide for Elder Scrolls Online. So I just wanted to give you guys some tips on things you should be looking to do early on, show you a little bit about how things work, and just to help get you going. So first off, uh, when it comes to your build, try to make sure that you choose abilities like, for example, Crystal Fragments something that's spammable, something easy, something that you don't have to think too much about so you can just focus on learning the game and stuff like that, learning how things work and then once you have a better understanding then go look at like some of the abilities that are a little bit different like Bolt Escape and stuff like that and see how you can use those abilities and whatnot. Um, after that uh, when it comes to skill lines keep in mind that the more skills that you have on your bar the faster that skill line is gonna level up. So if you want to level up two-handed, just put a point into every ability that you can as you're leveling it up and that'll make it level up faster and faster and faster. Uh, one way that you can level up abilities really fast if you did not know is you want to go to Alakir Desert and you see these little things on the map here, the dolmens, there is typically a group of people that are going to be running these dolmens non-stop. So if you're trying to level up the Fighter's Guild, which if you're not familiar with what the Fighter's Guild is, this is a very frequently used skill line, so it's very much worth leveling up. It has a lot of good abilities in it. The way you unlock that real, real quick is just look on your map. In any main city, or most main cities, you should see a symbol like this, Remnant's Fighter's Guild. Walk over to it and you can join it. Same thing with the Mage's Guild as well. Um, so, like I was saying, you go to Alakir Desert, and you'll find people that are just running these dolmens all day. This is an okay way to level. It might get a little boring after a while, so I don't recommend doing it, especially if you're a new player all the time. It might just kind of make you bored. But um, you just run from dolmen to dolmen, killing a bunch of Daedra, killing a bunch of demons, and uh, it'll level up your skill lines really fast. The ones that require, you know, EXP, and because the Fighters Guild, the way you improve this is not normal EXP. It's just every single time you kill a Daedra you get one EXP right or you get one fighter's guild point so you have to kill a bunch of Daedra in order to get this all the way up to 10 and that's all those dolmens are so it's a great way to level up the fighter's guild and then because you're getting such quick bursts of EXP it's going to be a great way to level up any skill line so just go put a point into everything throw it on your bar go do some dolmens and you'll have those at 50 in no time uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is crafting. So if you're new and you're not level 50 yet, uh, I want to make sure you don't waste any any of your time because time is uh, a pretty huge factor in terms of research. So if you don't know what research is, in order to create a starting set like Hunting's Rage or Laws of Julianos, which are very very good s starting sets uh, that you're probably going to want to get right when you hit level 50, you have to have a certain amount of traits researched, and this is just a totally time-gated thing. So to research, so let's say I want to do the precise thing on the Inferno Staff, then I need to find an item that I'm okay with sacrificing that has the precise stat, and then it'll take five hours for that to complete, and then I can come back and do another one. If you look at your crafting, so blacksmithing, if you put points into blacksmithing and as you level up blacksmithing and stuff like that, you'll notice that you get things like reduces research time by 5% and allows the research of two items at once. And you have that with all of these. Stitching, you know, um, clothes, so it's like clothing, stitching, or I guess blacksmithing and stitching is really it. And then woodworking has it too, I believe. Yep. Uh, you also can get these cool lumberjack hirelings. If you get these early on, they'll actually send you free mats every few hours. I think it's like every 12 hours, every 24 hours, something like that. And the best way to level up crafting, in my opinion, is pretty simple. Just play the game and deconstruct what you don't need. Uh, deconstructing will get you there, you know, slowly but surely. It's like, you know, if you're doing it, but <clears throat> if you're doing it, you know, pretty consistently as you're leveling up, you should, you should get it to a decent level. Probably not 50, but you'll have these leveled up a little bit uh, for sure. So... In order to craft a set, like I was talking about though, once you do have the traits, once you have the six traits on each piece, uh, open up your map, look for these little symbols right here. Cold Harbor's favorite uh, is this one. See how it says eight traits requires? That means on each piece of gear, 
you would need eight traits required in order to craft this. You go into that dungeon, you'll find a crafting tables there, and you craft it there. All right. So the next thing is going to be the group function. Make sure that you're queued up for random dungeons. It's just a great way to get EXP. You get a daily bonus, so like a bunch of bonus EXP and whatnot. It's a great way to level. Uh, the next thing is going to be guilds, right? So if you go here, one of the best things you can do is find a new player's guild, right? So just go through it. We are casual, social, guild focused, new slash returning, and veteran players welcome. There you go. Just join a guild like this. Say, hey, I'm new, and you'll this. The ESO community is one of the nicest MMO communities I've ever been a part of. So, just flat out, probably the nicest, if I'm being completely honest. Like, everybody is very relaxed and chill, and it's cool. Um, okay, so, with that being said, if, now, if you ever are worried about, oh, what if I took the wrong skill point? If you go to places like... Grotwood, or in, in other main cities as well, uh, they're going to have these little shrines sitting around. So right here, this like if you if you go to this waypoint, you'll see them. Uh, but there's a bunch of shrines there that'll allow you to respec. So don't worry about it if you make choices. There are ways to respec every single thing. Um, also, in order to get skill more skill points for your builds, you're going to want to go do these little sky shard things. So for every three of these that you find it's going to turn into a skill point. You will also get skill points for doing the main quests. If you want to know how to get to the main zone, go ahead and press P to open up the group and activity finder, go to your zone guide, and then you can click continue zone story and it'll tell you exactly where to go. Boom. See? Tell you exactly where to go to pick up that zone story quest so you can start that. I highly recommend doing the base game the base game one that's going to take you into Cold Harbor, it's going to give you a ton of skill points. Like, I think it gives you like one for every quest, whereas other zones may, might give you like three. So like you'll do all eight quests and it might give you three or something like that. Uh, also, you can go into these public dungeons. And inside these public dungeons, you'll find more sky shards. And you'll also find uh, events that will also give you, uh, group events that if you complete will also give you uh, a skill point. Okay, uh, after that, champion points. So you're going to notice that the streamers and content creators and stuff like that, they're all doing all this big crazy damage and you're not. Well, a big part of that is because they have access to the champion point stuff, right? So like right here, if you look at this, I get 20% extra damage to my heavy attacks. I get 6% extra damage. Uh, with my direct damage attacks. I get 8% extra damage against things that are off balance. That's that's like what, a 40% damage? Or, oh god, I can't do math apparently. But that's like a 32 some odd percent damage increase. And then you think about, you know, I'm also getting, you know, extra crit. And I'm also like getting other stuff like get Grant's 700 offensive penetration, right? Like there's a bunch of little things that you get from CP that is going to you know kind of give you an edge in terms of damage over people that don't have high CP yet so don't feel bad about it it's no big deal just make sure that you have at least 160 CP before you go trying to do any like super challenging content um, you'll even find that some people will before you even do the DLC dungeon prefer you to have 160 CP however I don't know that might be a little overkill because some people are just a little paranoid, but um, yeah, just don't worry. Don't worry too much about CP until you hit level 50. Once you hit level 50, uh, then uh, then you can go and worry about it. But um, yeah, so I think that's really it for you know my recommendations for a new player on really what they should focus on. So I guess to kind of reiterate that, just make sure. You're queued for dungeons. It's a great while you're questing. It's a great way to get extra EXP. Make sure that you're not forgetting about crafting. Go deconstruct things to level it up, and then make sure you're researching traits. So if you want to do like a Magicka build, for example, and you want to get the Laws of Juliano set, just come over here. Make sure you're researching stuff on the light armor, 
so you're going to be able to craft that online armor. Uh, after that, join a guild. It's the best thing ever. Just go to this right here. You can submit an application. So if I wanted to, I could put apply to guild, put a message, yada yada. Cool stuff. And uh, don't be afraid to explore. There's ways to respec. Your morphs are not final. You will be able to change pretty much everything. All right. Well, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps. Like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you later.